Hey guys, welcome to Netlink Daily. We've got such a big wave of news coming in. I'ma ride it with my surfboard. Surfboard! Apparently this is a Beyonce reference. I don't even know who Beyonce is, so. Tech news. The Corsair Vengeance 2100 pairs Dolby 7.1 surround sound gaming audio with true wireless freedom. Enter coupon code Corsair Vengeance to redeem free shipping within Canada and the US. This week is NCIX's Rewards Week sale event. Get two times rewards points this week on all purchases. Wow, two times, Linus? That's right, Linus. Super shy. I, mean, I don't even know what this is even about. Like, I think this is the point where if Keys was here watching me record it, he would just be chuckling over in the corner because he knows that what he wrote makes no sense and that I'll say it anyway because I don't review the scripts before I start these things. The Canadian deal is a Gigabyte Z87X UD3 HATX motherboard for $149.99. That's a saving of 50 bucks, and the American deal is an Asus GeForce GTX 760 Direct CU2 OC 2 gig graphics card for 229.99. You're saving 90 bucks there. Jamie, it's the news! Again. What? YouTube user Jack Frags has found the mysterious Megalodon in Battlefield 4. Shortly after BF4 was released, many players were convinced there was a giant shark hiding somewhere on the Paracel Storm map. Turns out the beast is actually a Nansha Strike, one of the new maps from the Naval Strike DLC. Get 10 players to huddle around a buoy on the east side of the map and pre prepare, prepare yourself. See, I was so unprepared, I couldn't even say the word. For the most epic body slam of all time. Now, Microsoft has made a lot of claims about the power of cloud computing on the Xbox One, but yesterday they finally showed a demo of what it could actually look like at their build conference. The cloud would be able to render advanced physics simulations, supplementing the local hardware. The demo was actually running not on an Xbox One, it was on a PC, but it serves to illustrate the point. Titanfall already uses cloud computing for grunts and specters, the AI bots in the game. I love Xbox. Xbox. And Epic Games have released a preview of Unreal Engine 4.1 featuring support for running and packaging games on Linux, which among other things powers Valve's Steam OS. The company announced Linux support a couple weeks ago after Crytek announced their CryEngine would support Linux, and GOG.com also announced Linux support coming this fall. Things are not looking too shabby for Linux gaming. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. I mean, you might as well. You never know when aliens are going to invade Earth and shut down the internet, and then you won't be able to subscribe to anything. Might as well seize the day.